Hey there, so in this video I'm going to review Spring Seed. Uh, this is the note taking application for Linux and they have this installer for Ubuntu. Currently it says this installer is available for Ubuntu 13.10 and higher. However, I have successfully installed 32-bit version on my Ubuntu 12.04 so just download from here and there will be a dev file which you can install via terminal or you can use GDB so this is a package manager installer which takes .dev file and install from there so this is how it works you just have to point your dev file and once you do that click on install package and it will be installed then you can go to the dash of Ubuntu and type spring seed you'll get this icon click on it Okay, you will find a small window here because by default the size is fixed here so it looks like a bit Evernote and your regular online notebook type of application but it has notebooks categorized as personal scrap work you can also create your own like let's say for taxes I oh, have a T1 here. Okay, so I have one for finance. I can add new note here, or I can use personal and note here. I will just change the note title to task to be done. You can add your task. You can use markup language here and add something like so. After that, just hit save and it will be saved. This is for log feature, this is deletion, and this is for undo. Okay, so let's check other notes too. Okay, this is the one where you have default notes stored. Okay, so this is very simple note taking. I think I have this task to be done. I can Skype it out with this option also I can sync it on Dropbox okay so that option is here in the settings all I have to do is sign in so I have to give the credentials for that it will open Dropbox request in the background so I have to just sign into Dropbox and then while logged in I can just sing this note as a new document inside the Dropbox that way it will be synced okay. So current version 2.0 looks cool. For not taking purpose, you can see that it has it opens basic editing functions. So for 
hyperlinks and all you have to use specific editing like let's check here they have done the linking by directly dropping the URL also you can use hash and other and it won't be linked however okay so this looks very good note taking application especially with Dropbox integration I hope in future they sync it with other online services like on cloud copy or say Microsoft's OneDrive and also with um, Evernote because Linux doesn't have official Evernote client so Spring State is definitely for the one you can use right now this interface and simplicity it's definitely something you should take a look at hope you find this tutorial helpful and keep watching i'll see you in the next video thank you